Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Sakani. Today I have another dream that I wanted to share that the Father has blessed me with. And this dream I had it Friday night and to a Saturday morning, so 7 3. Um, I thank the, the Father for blessing me with this awesome, awesome dream. And it's just showing us, like I said, he shows us what you know he's doing and um, he wants us to know he wants us to know uh, what the Lord what the Father is doing and uh, so we'll not be in the dark you know uh, the Father's heart is upon his children the Father's heart is upon us so we love him we praise him we honor him we exalt him we love each and every one of all the children of God and uh, we just you know we can't wait to meet all of you and just to be together as the children of God so uh, let me go ahead and uh, change it up a little the screen to show to start with the dream that um, that I wanted to share so in this dream it started with our jogging up jogging or running up a hill to a house that was nearby and this house was surrounded by trees and um it was not seen to the like to the street so it was tucked in hidden in the trees and i was like running up this little hill and i made a turn and it was like a left turn uh, when I arrived there, there were a few people inside the classroom and I sat down on this desk. The desks were kind of long and I sat down and I remember on to my right hand side, there was a brother sitting there and on to my left hand side, my sister Susie was sitting there. So we were right there on the front seat, you know, the desk was the front and I couldn't see who was teaching but I know we are learning or something like that and uh, we were almost finishing up and I think it was like a break or something so I took a break and then I started going towards the bathroom there was a bathroom there in like inside the same building and this building I started walking around trying just looking and seeing and it was so massive I I realized how massive the building was uh, the bathroom I kind of I was just looking around I saw the bathroom area and then I, I, I walked over to the other side and there was a bridge there and um, one thing I also noticed before I get to the bridge I noticed that the walls of this building was all made of stone so different different type of stone merged together that's how the building was and I reached the area where the bridge was the bridge was elevated so elevated and I was standing there and I looked to my left I looked to my right and I noticed that the walls of the this area was just massive and the stones and how connected. And then I looked down since it was high up. I looked down, it, we were so high up. I mean, there, I can't even measure how, how high we were, but it was so high up. And then I realized the space underneath that bridge and it was all covered like clouds was all around it. And, um, we were still in the building so i stood i stood there and i know though i knew there was a somebody a man standing to my left side here and i knew i had to jump down and i knew i was a little afraid but not too much i knew that i had to do that and then i jumped down as i jumped down into those clouds i entered I, I entered through into like a kingdom. It, it, it opened up into another dimension. It opened up into another realm. Um, I entered through a door. I think there was another door that I entered through. Like, you know, I opened the door and I entered through. Uh, and I noticed that there was, um, 
it was like an open area it was an open area and it was very very beautiful very very beautiful and i'm like oh my goodness it's a kingdom i realized it was a kingdom a city uh you know the the walls the buildings in that in that kingdom or the city the green the color green was more pronounced not too sure why there were some letters on the buildings um uh, of where the, I was at there were some letters I was trying to read them I couldn't I could I could not read them I don't know why but maybe uh, I wasn't supposed to know or something like that but I saw letterings some letters on the buildings as the, the color green or I think it's emerald was more pronounced in this dream and I realized that I saw the father come through um, the father was happy to see me there and then uh, there were also other people like some I'll call them his children because that's how I get to understood you know like in the dream I understood that these ch these were his children so they were all kind of like sitting on this table with the father the father was teaching them and all of a sudden, I also saw the brother who was standing with me there. He came through uh, into the area that we are at. As, and the father, as soon as he sent him, he was also very, very excited to know that we had made it. We had made through. We had made it. We had made it into the kingdom. You know, the kingdom of our God, the kingdom of Yeshua, the kingdom of Yahweh, and. The father, from my understanding, like we were supposed to help, we were supposed to help with um, teaching, you know, just like we're teaching here. So the Lord was making me to understand, the father was making me to understand that we'll continue even when we go there to teach others, to teach his children. That's what he has given us. So praise God, praise the Lord. He's letting us know that what we're doing here will continue to do even as we go into the Father's kingdom. All right, so that was a beautiful, beautiful dream the Lord gave me, shared with me. Um, you know, he shows us what he wants us to see. You know, like I say, we don't have control over what we want to see. He, he, we just listen and we receive what he wants us to know so we'll start with revelation 22 21 sorry these are some of the uh, scriptures he has shared with me there's a few of them but mainly this one because i think it captures everything that he showed me it captures in revelation 21 so we're gonna read it through it's all of it we're gonna read it's long yes i know but bear with me Listen and understand what the Father is saying in this message, in this verse, especially Revelation 21. So that's where our focus will be at today. So a new heaven and a new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. Just like I saw Father, he was dwelling, he was with the his children, you know, these were not like young little little ones i mean they were all 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 ages and uh whom i saw it was a few of them it wasn't a whole lot but they were all different ages i saw I mean, there were some older younger little ones they're all there with the father communicate communing with each other and the father was there with them so just like here it says god will dwell among his people you know he will dwell among his people they will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God he will wipe every he will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death 
or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexual immoral, and those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery, uh, fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. And then, like I said, we'll go down. We'll finish it out. The new Jerusalem and the bride of the Lamb. One of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues came and said to me, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a mountain great and high and show me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It shone with the glory of God, and its brilliance was like that of a very precious jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall with twelve gates and with the twelve angels at the gates, just like as I was standing at the, at the bridge, it, the walls were just so massive and high and elevated and they're all stones in those walls i saw different type of stones in there so on the gates um on the gates were written the names of the 12 tribes of israel the uh there were three gates on the east three on the north three on the south and three on the west so definitely i was on one of the gates I you know, just from looking from where we entered the city, um, because we entered from the north, I, you know, I don't know, maybe I was at the north gate, you know, just looking at how I entered the city because I didn't come from the bottom, but I came from the top down. So I am thinking here that I entered the city through the north gate. So it says here that wall of the city had 12 foundations and on them were the names of the 12 apostles of the lamb. The angel who talked with me had a measuring rod of gold to measure the city, its gates and its walls. The city was laid out like a square as long as it was wide. He measured the city with the rod and found it to be 12,000 stadia. He measured the city with the rod and found it to be 12,000 stadia in length and as wide and high as it is long. The angel measured the wall using human measurement and it was 144,000 uh, 144 cubits thick. The wall was made of jasper this, and the city of pure gold and as pure as glass. The foundations of the city walls were decorated with every kind of precious stone. So you can see here the stones I was saying. The walls of the city were decorated with every kind of precious stone. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third agate, the fourth emerald. Now, like I said, I, the green was more pronounced and I looked it up, you know, emerald is kind of like has a green tint, green color to it. So that green was more pronounced. Fourth, emerald, the fifth, onyx, and the sixth, ruby, the seventh, chesolite, and the eighth, beryl, and the ninth, topaz, the tenth, turquoise, and the eleventh, jensive and the 12th amethyst. The 12th gates were 12 pearls, each gate made of a single pearl. The great street of the city was of gold and as pure as transparent glass. I did not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. 
The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light, and the lamp is its lamp. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it. Now it says, the kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it. That's what it's saying. The kings of the earth will bring its splendor into it. These are kings and queens. Remember, children of God, us here, who believers in Christ, we are priests, we are kings and queens unto our Father, unto the kingdom of God. We will serve him. So that is what he's saying. Is not the rulers of this world that we're in here now, because most of them are unbelievers. They have sold their soul to, you know, Lucifer. But those who believe in Christ, those who have given their lives to God, Yeshua HaMashiach, Father Elohim Adonai, he is, those are the ones who are called kings, queens, priests, right? So that's why it says here, the kings of the earth will bring splendor into the kingdom, into it. So on verse 25, on no day will its gates ever be shut, for there will be no night there. The glory and honor of the nations will be brought into it. Nothing impure will ever enter it, nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Praise the Lord. Praise God for he is good, for he is mighty, he is excellent. He never fails us. He never fails us for giving us beautiful, beautiful revelations, you know, dreams that, yes, we are about to enter the kingdom of our Father, the kingdom of Yahweh, the kingdom of Elohim. So I urge you, each and every one of you that, you know, just look look forward to it look forward we should all look forward to it i know times are changing right now times are changing very fast but we should not be weighed down about all the things of this world you know that can easily weigh us that can easily you know uh make us not to look forward to the kingdom of our father to father yahweh you know he's looking forward to meeting us you know where we'll see him face to face you know what? That time is coming very, very soon. So the rapture is about to happen. Whatever, however he will do, transformation is about to happen. We should look forward to that. You know, that's what the Lord was letting me know. That's what the Lord was letting us. That's We don't have that much longer. You know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but it's true. You know, God doesn't just show us these things just because these are like I say, that's what is upon his heart. That's what he wants his children to know, to understand that time is up. Time is coming up for him to come, to take his children home. You know, that's the message. His children are about to enter the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Elohim, New, Jew, New Jerusalem. That's what it is, right? As in Revelation 21. Also, he led me to Ezekiel uh, 37, I think from verse 24th down, but you can read it there, where he talks about he will choose a king, David, the prince, you know, he will be king over his children. So be, you know, just be looking forward to what he has in store for us. I am, I am, and I know you are also going to do that. All right. Thank you so much. I love you all. I love you so much. Be excited. Be excited for these times that we're in. All right. Blessings. Amen.